discussion on Fontaine circulation. Fontaine repair of tricuspid atresia was initiated in late 1960s. Francis Fontaine and associates reported that surgical repair was carried out in three patients with tricuspid atresia, of which two were successful. Inferior vena cava blood was directed to the left lung and right pulmonary artery received the superior vena cava blood through a cava pulmonary anastomosis. They mentioned that the size of the pulmonary arteries must be large enough and at sufficiently low pressure to allow flow in a cava pulmonary anastomosis. The first step was a gland procedure in which distal end of right pulmonary artery was anastomosed to the superior vena cava. Proximal end of the right pulmonary artery was then anastomosed to the right atrium so that after closure of the atrial septal defect, inferior vena cava blood is directed to the left pulmonary artery. The main pulmonary artery was ligated at its exit from the hypoplastic right ventricle. Two aortic or pulmonary wall homographs were used to propel inferior vena cava blood to the left lung. One was at the junction of inferior vena cava and right atrium to prevent backflow of blood during atrial systole. The other was at the anastomosis of right atrial appendage to the proximal end of right pulmonary artery to prevent reflux from left pulmonary artery to right atrium during diastole. Various modifications for Fontaine procedure have since been introduced. Total cava pulmonary connection by Marc Telleval was published in 1988. The procedure consisted of three parts, end to side anastomosis of superior vena cava to the undivided right pulmonary artery, creation of a composite intraatrial tunnel using the posterior wall of the right atrium and a prosthetic patch to channel inferior vena cava blood to the enlarged orifice of the transected superior vena cava that is anastomosed to the main pulmonary artery. Other variations of the procedure have used intracardiac and extracardiac conduit. Indications were expanded to include right or left atrioventricular wall atresia, abnormalities of pulmonary venous connection, and even hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Operative and short term mortality of these patients were more than most other surgeries for congenital heart disease, and hence, careful patient selection was needed while planning to create a fondant circulation. The concept of two-stage repair, initial hemi-fondant in which superior vena cava was anastomosed with a branch pulmonary artery, followed a few months later by completion fondant connecting inferior vena cava to branch pulmonary arteries, was introduced by Norwood and colleagues. Long-term follow-up after fondant operation has been published from Mayo Clinic. They reviewed the outcome of all patients who had undergone modified Fontaine operation between 1973 and 2012. 10-year survival for the 1052 patients in the database was 74%, 20-year survival was 61% and 30-year survival 43%. Factors associated with decreased survival were preoperative diuretic use, Longer cardiopulmonary bypass time, surgery prior to 1991, atrioventricular wall replacement at the time of fondant procedure, elevated post bypass fondant or left atrial pressures, prolonged chest tube drainage beyond 21 days, post operative arrhythmias, renal insufficiency, and development of protein losing enteropathy. Sinus rhythm was associated with improved survival. Most common re-operations were pacemaker insertion or revision, fondant revision or conversion, and atrioventricular wall replacement. Clinically significant late arrhythmias occurred in 44%. Protein losing enteropathy developed in 9% of patients. Protein losing enteropathy markedly reduced survival. 10-year survival came down to 35% and 20-year survival to just 19%. 20-year survival of 84% after modified fondant procedure has been reported in another series of 305 patients operated between 1980 and 2000. 
they noted better survival with improved techniques. 15 year survival was 81% after atriopulmonary connection versus 94% for lateral tunnel. Fondant circulation is basically a single ventricle heart with the dominant ventricle supporting the systemic circulation and passive flow into the pulmonary circulation through cavopulmonary connection. Heart failure was the mode of death in 34% in a series of 600 adult fondant survivors. Arrhythmia or sudden death was the reason in 24%. Atrioventricular wall regurgitation is often associated with ventricular failure and it can be progressive. Pleural effusion, chylothorax and plastic bronchitis are important pulmonary complications associated with fontan circulation. Predisposition to thrombosis and thromboembolism are also well known. It contributed to 7.9% of the late deaths in one study.